Chicago Police Department. What's up everyone, General Discharge here. Today's video is going to be discussing the Chicago Police Department. The Chicago PD is a very well-known police department that happens to be the second largest municipal police force, only smaller than the NYPD. It has around 12,000 sworn officers. With its beginnings around 1835, the Chicago PD is one of the oldest police forces in the United States. With how big of a city Chicago is, the Chicago PD definitely stays busy and there's a lot to it. If you want to know more about the Chicago PD, what it does, its missions, capabilities, training, requirements, and much more, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Before we jump into it, make sure to take a moment and show us some love and support by liking our video and subscribing to our channel. Your support is our lifeblood. Do not hesitate to ask us questions in the comment section below. We check everything. The mission of the Chicago Police Department is to protect the lives, property, and rights of all people, to maintain order, and to enforce the law impartially. To fulfill its mission, it strives to attain the highest degree of ethical behavior and professional conduct at all times. Now when you think of a typical police officer, they are patrolling the streets on foot, in their car, and performing the regular, everyday duties police officers perform. While the Chicago PD does all of that, there's much more to it than just patrol officers. We're going to focus on the specialized units of the Chicago PD to showcase how versatile and capable the police department really is. Within the Chicago PD, there are several specialized units that work in concert to accomplish its mission. We're going to talk about the Marine and Helicopter Unit, K-9 Unit, Mounted Unit, and the Education and Training Division. Let's give an overview of each of these units. Starting off with the Marine and Helicopter Unit, it is home to a group of highly motivated and technically trained personnel. The unit utilizes many types of specialized equipment to complete their required tasks, and it is broken down into two distinct operations, Marine and Helicopter. Marine Operations personnel are responsible for all bodies of water within the city of Chicago. Chicago actually happens to be the home of the largest municipal harbor system in the United States, so they got a lot on their plate. To complete their mission, Marine Operations has seven patrol rescue boats and a state-of-the-art dive response truck for land-based assignments. Everyone in Marine Operations is a public safety diver, trained in heavy weapon usage, stingray remote operations, steady eye night vision systems, have first aid skills, and are the first responders to any maritime incident. Their three areas of responsibility are search, rescue, and recovery operations, law enforcement, and homeland security. Personnel are also responsible for dignitary security issues, special details, and assignment to city-sponsored special events, and recently, recording and photographing evidence. Marine Operations personnel spend a large portion of their tour conducting homeland security checks and patrols. Now on to the helicopter operations. It consists of two helicopters that provide an additional resource to ground units. They enhance the capabilities of first responders through the deterrence and prevention of crime quickly delivering personnel and equipment to the incident scene, and assisting in command and control by outfitting the aircraft with necessary equipment to provide critical communications across multiple jurisdictions. Both helicopters play a large role in Homeland Security by having the ability to conduct aerial reconnaissance of target locations. Both of their helicopters host a myriad of very technical equipment. Let's move on to the K-9 units. A K-9 team consists of an on-duty K-9 police officer and their assigned department K-9 dog. The team is available for assignments 24 hours a day. Their duties include conducting building searches for hidden offenders, locating missing persons, tracking suspects who have fled the scene of a crime, performing article searches, detecting narcotics or explosives, and conducting public service canine demonstrations. The canines at Chicago PD do a lot. Most of the breeds happen to be German Shepherds, but they also have Belgian Malinois and Labrador Retrievers. These dogs are in full responsibility of their handlers, and they stay with their handlers' families. That means if you find yourself in the Chicago PD canine unit, you can bring Sparky home with you. That's pretty cool. The department periodically posts applications for the canine handler position, and applicants must pass a series of tests to be placed on the eligibility list. Handlers will initially train with their dogs for approximately 12 to 16 weeks at the Chicago PD Canine Training Center, and then continuously train their dogs to keep them sharp, 
both at the center and out in the field while on duty. Okay, now on to the mounted unit. The mounted patrol unit currently houses 32 horses which are acquired by the Chicago Police Department through purchases and donations. To qualify a horse for duty, they are chosen for uniformity, alike in appearance, size, and temperament. Once the horse is chosen, they are put through an extensive training process to ensure they are capable of meeting the service needs of the unit. The mounted patrol unit is commanded by a lieutenant, four sergeants, and 27 patrol officers. It provides a vital function in all types of situations, ranging from large-scale planned and unplanned events to small community gatherings. One mounted patrol officer equals 10-footed police officers, so they provide a strong police force multiplier. All mounted personnel must successfully complete a 14-week training program, but typically, 50% of officers who try out for the mounted patrol unit fail to complete the training course. Additional in-service training for assigned unit personnel is conducted on an annual basis to help ensure officers stay current on strategies and methods associated with their function. Let's move on to the Education and Training Division. This is essentially the academy where you become a Chicago Police Officer. If you want to know how you can become one, listen up. The Chicago PD Academy is six months long and provides progressive and comprehensive training to develop policing skills, enhance leadership abilities, and promote a solid ethical foundation to all department members. It gives basic peace officers training for Chicago PD recruits. As a recruit, you will receive training in firearms, control tactics, physical training, gangs, drugs, ethics, report writing, vehicle stops, law enforcement driving, terrorism awareness, technology awareness, and building entry tactics. Look at that list on screen. You learn a lot here. You will be provided over 900 hours of training in total. It doesn't end there though. After the academy, you'll spend another 12 months in a probationary status. You will be assigned to one of 23 districts in the city, as well as to a field training officer who will train, observe, and grade you for roughly three periods. Once you're done with that, you'll be a full-fledged Chicago PD officer. So, in order to get into training, what are the minimum requirements you need to meet? These are the minimum requirements. Pause the screen to take a longer look. And there you go. You now know a decent overview of the Chicago PD. It is one of the most diverse departments out there, with people from all walks of life coming together for the common goal of serving and protecting the citizens of Chicago. If you're into learning more about other civilian and law enforcement entities, we've done plenty of videos on them. On screen are all the videos we've done thus far. There will be a playlist in the description for them. Well, that is the down and dirty of the Chicago Police Department. If you learned something from this video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. As always, thank you for watching. Do you even want to be here? A big shout out to all of our YouTube members and our patrons over at our Patreon. Thank you all so much for taking the extra step in supporting our channel. It is much appreciated. If you'd like to be featured on a general discharge video, consider joining our membership with the link in the description or the join button to the left of the subscribe button, or go give our Patreon a look and join the team. Here's Nick Nausea. All your friends are subscribing to general discharge and you don't even want to be here.